Welcome to the old Lumen's Garage again. Um, <clears throat> I'm working on these uh, 2AA mag lights. Uh, I've decided that uh, they work out pretty good and I'm probably going to make quite a few this year. I have uh, two of the uh, of the USA mag lights left and I have the stuff that I'm going to use to make the heat sink with and I'm going to try to show you how I do that for specifically just for this light and give you some measurements. I have a, a couple of uh, three quarter inch round copper rounds. I have some five eighths inch copper rounds. I have some half inch copper pipe. I have some uh, Nietzsche LEDs, 219s and they're on 10, 10 millimeter stars. Well, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use the, the uh, Cree XPG stars, so I'll have to reflow them over to that. I have some uh, uh, Carlco uh, tight optics, plain tight optics. Uh, the copper shot for filling the heat sinks. Uh, the pipe cutter, tubing cutter. My trusty torch. Uh, something to measure with. My uh, uh, stone for heating when I make the heat sinks and uh, from there I'm just gonna you know go through and, and as I do the different sections I'll stop and start and show you what's going on okay I've got uh, the light apart and I want to go over some of the measurements uh, specifics about what needs to be done the uh, <clears throat> this particular Carl Co optic is uh, 10 millimeters deep okay and 20 millimeters in diameter also this particular one is one that's made to go into a holder so that there's a tab on it that tab has to be removed brought down flush to the rest of the lens okay so we get 10 millimeters thick 20 millimeter diameter now the bezel uh, the inside of the bezel okay ends up being um, 18.75 millimeter diameter so it'll just barely uh, sit that the, the optic will barely sit in there and be, and be held the the key to the measuring for the the heat sink is that I'm using uh, the threaded uh, portion or where the threads start as a shelf or a lip okay so you have a you have the smooth section inside the head where the reflector normally goes and then you start the threads and the threads are a smaller diameter than that so you have a little shelf a little lip that's where this piece this three-quarter inch uh, diameter round goes in and it doesn't fit in perfectly it's 19.2 millimeter and uh, the uh, inside of this is like 18.75 okay so it's not a perfect fit I'm gonna be shaving that down so it does it'll it, uh, it'll fit down inside and, and seat against that that lip in there okay so from doing that and from measuring that lip and knowing what I need I know that from the lip up to the inside ridge of the bezel where the lens would sit against that there's 14 millimeter of depth well then I know that the Carl Cole is 10 millimeter depth so I know I have to have four millimeters more to sit on that shelf and still have everything tighten up and that's that's why I end up with uh, using the the three quarter inch round that I'll shave down and then I'll put two uh, five eighths on top of that and then the star on top of that okay when all that's done I'm gonna end up at four millimeter so the total stack up will end up being 14 millimeter okay so everything will fit in there and will be snug now on the bottom side on these mag lights the particular uh, uh, distance that we need to worry about for the body is the fact that we're going to turn this in and we want to make sure that the o-ring goes in inside underneath inside the head to give some support to the tube otherwise the tube rattles 
Okay. So we have to know that distance there, and I already know from measurements that I'm going to end up wanting six millimeters below this three quarter inch round towards the bottom end. Six millimeters is what I need to do. So I'll end up cutting a piece of my pipe um, five millimeters thickness and then I'll use one of these and that'll make it a little bit less than six millimeter but it's going to be close enough. This I'll probably cut this a little bit a little bit proud of five millimeter and then overall the stack up will be right right about six millimeters and that will go on the bottom side of that heat sink I mean that will actually be the heat sink itself you know down in that will fit down in the head um, also the last thing is that takes that takes care of the heat sink and then the body once I polish this or, or remove the anodizing, we'll touch up against the heat sink and, and that will take care of the negative. The positive, it goes down inside of the body. The original incandescent has a, a plastic uh, insert that comes up in through the body and that's where the, the batteries touch up against that. Uh, I've measured all that, so I know that I have to have a, a, a piece coming down uh, that's going to be 9 millimeters from the bottom of this lip to that top plastic part, which sit on top of the body, and the insert goes up inside. So all I'm concerned with is from the bottom of that lip down, and I know I'm, I'm at 9 millimeter. So I'll have to make something that comes down off the bottom of the heat sink for a distance of nine millimeter with the center uh, contact positive. And what I'll be doing is use cutting a piece of this plastic tubing and using that to run the wire through and have a little copper end on it. Uh, so I'm going to start working on all of that and then uh, as I get it to where I can put it together I'll, I'll go from there and show you a little more. Okay, so the bottom part of the, or the, the basically the heat sink itself is, is ready to be assembled. Um, I have the the three quarter inch uh, copper round. I have cut a piece of tubing uh, to five millimeter thick. Okay, that's going to be centered on that round. Uh, I just do them by eye, and then the bottom piece, uh, the bottom round, I have drilled a hole into so that uh, the plastic extension that will fit down in the, the barrel can at least get seated into that so uh, once it's all together it'll be like that but it'll be filled with that copper shot and solder so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up now and solder it and get it all smoothed up and I'll show you after that's done okay so the heat sinks are finished as far as uh, being soldered together and cleaned up a little bit um, they're not perfect, but I, I stopped trying to do perfect a long time ago. It never works. Um, that would be the top of the heat sink where the star is going to go. And that's going to be the bottom of the heat sink. And there'll be a, a plastic extension with another uh, piece of copper on the end of it for the positive terminal. The measurements come out about right with the star. The top is... As I said, I, I need to use the lip inside uh, the head. So <clears throat> with the star on there, I'll be four millimeters above the lip and I'll be six millimeters below the lip. Total of 10 millimeters, okay? And that's it. I mean, for the heat sinks, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, put stars on them. I still have to uh, reflow the, the LEDs on the stars and uh, I'll go ahead and do the bottom side too. When I get to, to doing that, I'll, I'll show you again what I do with it. But basically that's, uh, that's what it is right there. Okay, just a little chunk of copper and some solder. Well, I'm working my butt off at this thing, trying to finish these up. I have, uh, <coughs> I have the uh, assembly with the star in the head right now. And uh, I'm, put article lumina to hold the star in place and I'm just letting it uh, 
set in there and harden up. Um, now I'm making the bottom sections using the plastic tubing uh, to make the positive terminal and I'm, I, I have to have a little metal terminal on the bottom or you know on the end of it so I'm making these out of copper and <laughs> you really got you really got to love doing this stuff if you want to make these little things that's a, a piece of a square piece of copper that I just cut off and then just cut off the corners you know just cut the four corners on the square and then after you cut the four corners you know after you cut like that then you trim again on each of the two little edges so you cut eight times okay and then you take sandpaper I take a sanding block and I hold it in my fingers and I start working it like that to work it round and uh, somebody said something about uh, uh, my fingernails being real long well this is why you know you can't hold these doggone things with a pair of pliers I don't care what you do they're gonna slip and slide in a pair of pliers you use a pair of vice grips you're gonna scar them up all the hell so what do you do you use two fingers and you hold real tight with two fingers and you use a sanding block to sand them to round them down so just a just a little FYI, a little tip. If you want to make something a, a little round terminal like that, uh, cut a square first, then cut the four corners. You get eight corners, then trim those, trim all eight, and then start working your round. I do it all by eye. I don't measure anything out. It's just you know after a while you learn how to do them. Anyways, I'll get back to the rest of it here after I finish this up. Okay, now I have the. Uh, uh, star attached to the heat sink and I have to make holes for wires one of the issues though is uh, of course the the holes are going to come out here at the outside edges but the positive hole has got to come to the center and actually both do because this flat section now is the section that's going to touch up against the body so you don't want anything in that flat section so I'll have to drill on an angle from top to bottom and try to hit that center uh, that's my aim anyways so that's what I'm doing next is trying to drill the holes okay now the holes have been drilled for the two wires positive negative and they did come out through the center you can probably not see but you can see me poking that in there that they did both come out through the center so the next thing I'll do is go ahead and uh, wire run the wires and this plastic end piece will go in there and then on top of that will be the uh, the copper positive terminal I'll just take the wires, cut them, solder the wire to the to the uh, copper terminal, terminal, st and and then you know stick it all together. And I'm going to use some uh, arctic alumina, or you know you can use epoxy, but I'll use arctic alumina because I have it, and uh, fill that uh, tube up with it and down inside to help hold everything together. Then uh, go ahead and run the wires up to the top and uh, solder them to the star. Now for the negative all I'm going to do is I'm going to double or triple fold that wire and uh, fill that hole with it and then I'm going to solder it right in place. That's how I make the negative. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll see, uh, see one finished and see if it works. Okay well we're just about done now. I have the final assembly done for the whole pill that is the positive terminal uh, wire goes down through comes up to the positive on the star negative on the star goes down inside and you might I doubt you'll be able to see but there's a little bit of, there's it's soldered right into the star into the the heat sink um, I've taken and uh, used some arctic ceramic and 
that's just thermal compound instead of thermal adhesive and rubbed it into the th first couple threads uh, and again you might not be able to see it too well but you might be able to see some white in there rubbed it into the first couple sets of threads and then I will also take and, and put some of that on this pill and then I'm going to put it down inside the head uh, after that it's just a matter of putting the lens in bezel and we'll test it out so I'll, I'll show you when it's all finished here in just a second okay this is the whole thing we've got the head fully assembled with the optic in it and it's nice and tight in fact it's, it's not a it doesn't perfectly come down flush just a hair off it so it's it's really snug when you put it all, all together it's not going to come you know falling out the uh, bottom side is uh, got the positive terminal out sticking out I have uh, polished the or removed the anodizing from the top of the body the batteries are in there and it's just a matter of turning it in and there we go we got light and we're just barely at the point where the o-ring is covered up okay so you don't see the o-ring even when you turn the light off you still don't see the o-ring unless you turn about a half turn and all you got to do is break it just a hair to turn the light off so that's it 2AA mag light incandescent turned into a LED without having to do a lot, and, and, you know, boring and, and drilling the only drilling you have to do uh, is you still have to drill two holes um, for the wires you know and the other piece of drilling that I do of course is I, I drilled at this one uh, copper round so that the plastic insert sat inside you don't have to drill that out you know before you put it together you could just glue it flat on but I just want it to hold just a hair more uh, have, a, have a little bit of a lip that it fits into to help hold it together a little bit and all right that's it that's all I got to tell you. I probably told you too much already. Y'all take care. Thank you.